Des, King of the Pit TV. We're having the time of our life. This is, uh, as the video says down there, Slipknot with the tune Prosthetics. Uh, this is a longer tune, Virgin of five minutes long. The Instagram is at Des Rocksteady. Follow me, let's talk music. First time listening, let's go. Come on. Boo boo. Sipping on the cheeky little body and coke for this one. It's the weekend, people. Let me give you a shout out. That um, register sounds even lower than the uh, drop B or B standard uh, I thought this band was in. I think it's drop B to be honest with you because a lot of these uh, slamming S scripts, dun 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 dun, uh, sounds like it would be definitely a drop B thing. But you correct me if I'm wrong, what tuning is this band in? Is it B standard? Uh, it sounds like summit in B. Uh, but this boom boom sounds even lower. Really big intro to this one. This could go on throughout the entire track. I don't know. This is a this is a long tension building intro. That breakdown drum there. The riffage on this is absolutely brilliant. The riffing is riffing. It's not just half ass thrash metal clone, it's not death metal-esque, it's just groove, there's just solid power chord groove in metal man, Dude, I'd be so surprised if this band did not take some form of influence from hardcore bands in particular, I don't even know, this was released in 99 right, so you know as we progressed in the 90s we had metalcore acts, but metalcore was a little more so slayer-esque, but the this is a very modernized hardcore crossover groove style metal guitar in my opinion so you take the groove from the new york hardcore stuff but you just overly distort it and then just i don't even know this is i don't even know who influenced this band it's so interesting to me man <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
I know this is going to build up into a big riff. Drums just sounding like heavy rain beating down on your conservatory when you're trying to read your book, man. Yo, the masks are one of the most important part of this band's success, right? The uh, edgy, eerie, creepy aesthetic. But, 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 dude, if you were in Slipknot, you wouldn't want to wear the mask, would you? You'd want to be known. You want to say, yeah, I came up with this riff. Yeah, I'm this drummer. Yeah, I'm a part of Slipknot. Dude, it's a blessing and a curse, them masks. <laughs> Kyles of the world unite. <laughs> Just hit 129 subscribers. I want to give you a shout out. I'm acting like a DJ now, by the way. That was really good. That was really good. A lot of tension at the start. A lot of groove. A lot of riffing. Yeah, plenty of riffs in that tune, right? That was Prosthetics by Slip Not, aka Slip Noft. Snip Slip Noft. Yeah, let's get on with this next track, people. Come on. <laughs> 